this for Rakeem. There was another uh, career high for you. You and Devo had the running game going pretty good. What did you think of running game? And then regarding uh, Nick Stark, that was his first start since I guess his red shirt freshman year at AM. and What did you think of Nick's performance, kind of how the offense you know, worked with him in there? I thought the offense ran well. I thought uh, Nick passing the ball opened it up for me, running the ball as well. And so I, the offense was crisp today, you know what I mean? We, there's some, a few things we have to work on, but we just got to finish. And then just the running game overall. Yeah, the up, up front, I mean, they did a great job, and we just made adjustments and, you know, was finding a hole. Cameron. So, so it was it was dirty. It was tied up there in the fourth quarter, you know. The, you had to punt. It, Maybe the last year this team folds after that, but you guys said it's different this year. Talk about it because you scored, you got to score them 21 to nothing to end the game. Uh, you know, like you said, like it's different this year. You know, we bought in, we know how to respond now. You know, last year we probably would have got down, you know, everybody would have got down, they would have kept scoring, but now we know how to respond as a team, you know, so I feel like that really would help us keep, keep going. Yeah, it was, it was 34 34 at one yeah. point. Um, I don't think it was the the fact that we didn't know how to respond. We just didn't know how to communicate. This year, the leaders have been doing a better job of communicating on the sidelines and making sure that everybody is tuning in what we need to do and to accomplish the goal that we have set. Did you feel like it was big for the, the offense to answer that first score when they scored on the second play of the game? The offense came right back and went down and tied it up and scored 24 in the first quarter. Uh, yeah, so it, de it definitely was big. You could you could see the momentum on the sidelines. You could see the the hype everybody had. It was it was just something we could feed off of, and we knew that we basically had to back up the offense today. For for Sosa and Cam, you know, really going back to a few years, Arkansas had this uh, habit, I guess, of getting leads and losing them, and then mm -hmm. and then the other team would would win. And today. You, know, you had a 14-point lead. They caught up, but then you guys got stops when you needed them. You got scores when you needed them. Defense even scored. Uh, just what, what, what was different? And is, is this the culture change that everybody's been, been talking about? Uh, yeah. You know, like you said, the culture changed. And like I said earlier, we all just bought in, you know. We can't get down on ourselves like that anymore when they score, like, on the second play of the game. Uh, and it's just like we got more confidence now. Cause we're more of a team this year. Okay. The thing I would say is different about those those years when, like, I remember my freshman year, we had two games. It was Missouri and then it was Virginia Tech. What I could say is different is we could keep scoring with people now. Um, I feel like Nick just showed that today, like that he can continue to score. I don't know it was Colorado State, but now we got San Jose State next week, and we're going to keep seeing how much he can improve, how much the offense can improve, how much the defense can improve, special teams as well. Um, just, it's, just, it's just response. Um, like those years of my freshman year and on, we really couldn't, couldn't score with people. So it, and, it, and it wasn't hard to see, but now I feel like we can actually score with people. Hey, uh, Cam and Sosa, uh, really quick, Scooter kind of mentioned that he gave the defense a little pep talk after that first touchdown you guys gave up on the second play. Just adjustments you guys made uh, with the run defense in the front seven and kind of what did he say to you guys to get you fired up? And then obviously you got a second game in a row, you get a defensive touchdown and how much, uh, how much that meant to you guys? I mean, Scooter is our leader, man. He's definitely, you know what I'm saying, top notch, especially in the SEC in the country. So we know when he's saying something, we need to listen to him. You know, like he he knows he knows what's going on. He's he's like he's basically pointing to us what she what Chiefs pointing to him. So he knows defense. He know what we need to be doing. So you could believe in him when he's talking to you. We basically we basically gave away that touchdown on the second play. We understood what happened. We got we got right. We fixed it. Um, he called some guys out and basically not calling them out, but actually calling them up. Um, we made a couple more plays and. We started we started getting behind ourselves and started giving up too many too many um too many yards too many outside runs and things like that. He basically just called us up and said we need to to lock in and and buckle down. Yeah, Scooter he the leader of the defense, so when he talked, we listened, and he was just telling us after that score, you know, we got to wake up, we got to keep playing, you know, and like you said, the defense scoring that's very good. Like when your defense score, you know your defense doing something good. So, so what'd you 
Uh, yeah, man, they, they they going through some growing pains, but you can still tell they they getting out the ball. They ecstatic. They excited. They they trying to make things happen. You you can just tell that in the future they're going to be so great. Like you could tell they already got a potential. Soli is starting right now. Uh, Soli number eleven is starting right now, and he has a broken hand. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I don't like. I had my finger come out my skin my freshman year, but I wasn't starting. And I'm, you know, like Soli is right now starting, and he's and he's making, he's making strides and he's making plays. He's getting out to the quarterback. You can tell him he's chasing the quarterback at the pocket. You got Zach Williams over there trying to make plays. Like everybody is making plays. Uh, I'm just I'm just happy to see it. Scooted the big play at the end. I think Hayden <coughs> kind of cleaned it up then. Yes, Were you out there on that play, and did you see him coming? Um. Basically, basically what I seen was, it was it was what the call was basically for me to wrap to the to the outside, um, basically outside to contain. And when I got there, I seen the running back. I could tell he was slowing down, so I knew he wanted to to cut back inside. So basically, what I was trying to do was just make the tackle. I seen when Hayden was coming across my face and he hit him, man. I seen the um, Darius Bishop pick the ball up and go to the end zone. So that's how I seen it happen. How would you rate that play? Oh, that was a good play. We got a defensive touchdown. That's 10 out of 10. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like they worked in a lot of the defensive tackles with y'all. Was that part of the plan, just to make you guys more rest? Oh, yes, ma'am. Just, just trying to make sure we stay fresh. Just, just trying to make sure we stay fresh, make sure we stay um, stay ready, especially in the fourth quarter. Because we knew it was going to be a fourth quarter game. Like last year, it was a fourth quarter game. We just wanted to make sure we was on the opposite end of that outcome. I don't know if you guys get to watch the offense much because you're probably there getting hydrated and talking to coaches. But but if you did get to see the offense, what what'd you think of Nick's play and kind of, you know, the 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 spark he gave the offense? Uh, he gave a big spark. You know, he likes to throw the ball downfield. That's what I like to see. You know, take the shots deep, and he gave us a big big uh spark. You know, making throwing fifty fifty balls, Trey Knox and Traylon Burks coming down with him, and I feel like that's really gives momentum and gives a spark to the game. Yeah, um, Nick, Nick definitely gave the offensive spark. You could tell. You could tell the players um, like CJ, like didn't like didn't even go down on that sideline. He made sure he stayed in bounds and kept going. Made a touchdown out of a play. Like I just feel like when you got good QB play, um, good QB getting you the ball. You know, like everybody's running their routes harder. So because they understand the ball might be coming to them. Like you know, so I feel like he definitely gave the offensive spark. He definitely gave the defensive spark as well. Game 20 carries for you today, I believe the most in a game this season. What was working well? And then your long touchdown run, what did you see on that once you got past that first line? Uh, really, when I got past the first line, I was just like, man, I got to go. I got to, you know, I got to get in the end zone because, you know, this whole week, you know, we, the O line has been opening it up for us. So, and we haven't been breaking out. So this week, you know, the thing was to get out there. And that's what we did. Yeah, uh, Raheem, I was going to ask you about the offense line. What did you see from them today? And then Nick's ability to get the ball down the field, did that kind of open things up in the running game? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, the awesome offensive line played their best game today, I thought. So, I mean, you got Ty Clary up there. You got Don Wagner, Myron. And, you know, they're all switching, working together. Caps came back. So everything was good. And they opened it up for Nick to throw the ball and pass protect and a lot of, a lot of run holes.